Let's explore which is better, Adobe CDP or Salesforce CDP. Let's begin. Okay, so let's talk about Adobe Customer Data Platform first. It has a robust of marketing tools and it's known for expertise in customer experience and content creation because Adobe CDP integrates well with Adobe's marketing cloud providing a seamless experience for data-driven marketing campaigns. It also focuses on creating unified customer profiles and delivering personalized experiences across various channels. Adobe CDP offers data unification, segmentation, personalization, and analytics capabilities. It also emphasizes the creation of a single customer view by collecting and integrating customer data for multiple sources so if you want more information about cdp all i'm gonna do is hover down to adobe experience cloud in their adobe um, official website and check it i'm actually using adobe um, cdp right now and it's really efficient it's really wonderful so i, I believe it's a, it's a platform that you might want to try right don't worry um it's uh user friendly as well when you use it it has an intuitive feel whenever you are in the interface. Okay, now, next in our list is going to be the Salesforce Customer Data Platform. All right. Now, whether you like it or not, Salesforce is a leader in CRM and I'm also using it. For so many years and it offers a wide range of solutions for sales service and marketing it's actually a one-stop shop salesforce cdp leverages the strength of salesforce ecosystem providing a unified view of the customer across different touch points and departments it also aims to unify customer data from various sources enabling businesses to gain insights into customer behavior preferences and engagement it integrates well with other salesforce products especially if you're a fan of salesforce you might want to consider getting a salesforce cdp because it will align you to streamline workflows and enhance customer engagement strategies now since i have both accounts on these platforms choosing between them you know you need to consider the uh, integration needs whether you are already using other tools within the adobe say for example you're um, a creative professional you use a lot of adobe or softwares and programs like photoshop illustrator premiere pro or um you are a big fan of our uh, salesforce ecosystem because the compatibility and integration with your existing tech stack can play a significant role in that decision, right? Now, in terms of functionalities, evaluate the specific features and capabilities of each platforms, right? Determine which functionalities align better with your business goals and strategies for customer engagement and personalization and data management. In terms of uh, scalability and customization, assess which platforms offer the level of scalability and customization that your business requires as it grows and adapts to changing customer needs. And also, in terms of support and training, consider the availability of support and training and resources provided by each company to help you maximize the use of CDP and address any issues that may arise, all right? Once again, ultimately, the choice between Adobe CDP and Salesforce CDP depends on your specific business needs, existing technology infrastructure, and the level of integration and functionalities required to drive your customer experience and marketing strategies effectively. And in my personal opinion, if you are a creative professional or enthusiast who uses a lot of adobe product related um, apps and softwares you're going to be liking adobe mcdp but if you are a heavy user or a fan of salesforce you might want to opt for a salesforce cdp but if you'd like you might want to try both platforms to see what best fits your needs and goals all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and once again we will see you all in the next one